Hello everyone. If you're wondering why my bed's naked, it's because we're doing the laundry. Anyways, yesterday on my Twitter, I asked you guys to send me some hot and spicy questions. And boy, did you ask questions. So let's just get right into this. What was your favorite video ever to film? In terms of the most effort I've ever put into a video, it was probably the Mona Lisa video, but I also really liked filming the backpack video. What TV shows do you watch? To be honest, I kind of stopped watching TV shows. I just don't don't have the time for it. Around this time of last year, I remember I was really into The Walking Dead, but I stopped watching it because it just got so bad. Something else I watched last year. Hannibal on Netflix. I watched that last year. It messed me up so much. Wow, that show is something else. Like, What's in your closet, Joanna? Let's go on a bit of an adventure. Okay, so you might remember from my room tour video that I didn't really go that in depth into my closet. Now that's because I was still planning on redoing my closet and guess what? I have redone it. At the bottom, we have my Crocs. I have two Crocs at the moment. I'm planning on getting more, but we'll see where this goes. The first ones I have, these white ones. These ones, they're just so happy. And then if you want something a little bit spicy, Bam, look at these guys. Are you kidding me? These are insane. I mean, if I'm happy, I can wear these. If I'm angry, I can just wear these. And then we have my bikinis, underwear, my breast supporters, and then we have workout clothes, pants, all of my shirts, and then the star of the show. This is where I keep all of my Nerf guns. Originally, I was gonna keep them underneath my bed, but okay, here's the thing. You're busy doing your work, and all of a sudden you find yourself in a high-risk situation. Would it be easier to just run upstairs and wrestle my bed to get a Nerf gun or just jump into my closet and grab and go. That was just my idea with this whole thing. There's even motion sensor lights. I mean, what more could you ask for? You know, this is a Nerf gun arsenal. A bit more to the top, we have uh, my Sunny's deodorant and my mom's makeup. And then I still have an empty shelf. Maybe I'll store more Nerf guns there. But yeah, that's it. That's the whole thing. How's your 2019 so far? Pretty good, not gonna lie. It was off to a bit of a rocky start. My year began with me editing my Mona Lisa video at 1 a.m. So that was really fun. And then for some reason my computer just shut off and wouldn't turn on again. And then the hard drive I was using just also stopped working. Everyone just, you know, threw in the towel collectively. Why is the camera so crooked? Sorry, technical difficulties here. How many languages do you speak? I speak English, un peu de français, et un peu du portugais. What's your favorite song ever? I go through songs really quickly. I'll like a song for maybe two weeks, play the hell out of it, and then get tired of it. At the moment, I'm in the process of overplaying Noise Pollution by Portugal the Man. <laughs> Hello, I'm introducing! Ow! <laughs> Would you go to Mars if it was offered to you? If it was offered to me and only me, I would go. I feel like that's just a one-way trip, and to be stuck on a planet with just one other person, <laughs> Who are your favorite YouTubers to watch? I've been watching a lot of like smaller commentary channels and some very calm people on YouTube. Haley Pham, Haley Morales, Curtis Connor, really good. Avery Ovard, they're really chill people and I like that. Oh, I've also been watching Colleen Ballinger, her whole pregnancy vlogs. I've fallen down a bit of a rabbit hole of birthing vlogs and I've come to the conclusion that I'm going to adopt. Do you really work out as much as what was in your week in the life video? Actually, yes, I do. I'm gonna be honest, at the moment, I've been working out the least amount I've ever worked out in my life, if that makes sense. Around 10 years old is when I really started to work out heavily. Don't worry, I'm perfectly healthy. Okay, I've gone to several doctors. If animals could talk, which would be the rudest? Honestly, I feel like the squid. I mean, just look at Squidward, Twitter or Instagram. At the beginning, I was heavily drawn to Twitter, but I kind of started to have a lot of fun with Instagram. I mean, let's just be honest. My Instagram is something else. The photos I I post there, they bring tears to your eyes. There's just so much emotion in each photo. It's riveting. Shrek or Fiona? Lord Farquaad! Do you think you will continue YouTube after high school? Hopefully, if I'm still relevant. I've kind of been preparing myself for the moment where I become irrelevant. Maybe it's already happened. Maybe it will happen in two days. I don't know. Would you pay to see Ariana in concert? I would pay to see Ariana over Skype. Did you buy a new microphone or are you still using the one that you shove into your nose? 
They were having a sale. What is your preferred nerf gun for battle? I need to arm myself against the haters and need the perfect weapon. If you're looking for a classic, I recommend the nerf modulus. There's just so many options with this. It truly is a feat of human engineering. I don't know about you, but if I heard that, I would just go running. I also ordered this one, and it's a Star Wars nerf gun. The bullets, they glow in the dark. You know, if you're looking for a little bit more pizzazz, this one's the way to go. <laughs> What more could you ask for? Next question. What do you want to do when you graduate? I've been actually kind of keeping this a secret, but I was in fact accepted to university. I applied in October, I think, and I actually got accepted like a month ago. I was accepted into a physics program, so I'm really excited about that. So stay tuned for some fun university vlogs. Why don't you just shave your legs? I tried shaving my legs once, and I just noticed that my hair grew back really thick. Actually, that reminds me of something. It's been quite a while since I've done a waxing and ranting video, so I think it's time that we pull out the wax strips, you know? My legs, so beautiful, so luscious. You could probably braid this if you wanted to. Welcome back to episode 59 of Waxing and Ranting, Q&A edition. Are you going to Coachella? I mean, that would be fun, but I have school. I mean, I heard Tame Impala was playing at Coachella, so it hurt my heart that I couldn't go. I would definitely take my parents with me because I don't want to die, but I think we'd have so much fun. Do a bathroom tour. Your wish, my command. This is my bathroom. So in here, several things have happened, you know, several bad decisions, several hair cutting feats, and a lot of makeup extravaganzas. This place is kind of sacred, not gonna lie. So to your right, we have the laundry basket. My mom just did the laundry, so it's empty. And then we have my toothbrushes. I have two types of toothpaste. This one for when I'm feeling bougie, and this one for when I'm feeling strong. When my teeth need a good clean, this is the one I go for. This one, tastes a lot better. I'm pretty sure they put sugar in it because, you know, sugar is the poison our society is built on. And then we have our dentures here. And then we have this. So here's the deal. My eczema, eczema, however you want to pronounce it, has been really bad this year. So I've been having to just put so many different types of moisturizer on my face. Like half of these things, I don't even know what they do. Under here, um, yeah, that's just a mess and a half, so we won't talk about it. And then the toilet! This toilet, very powerful. Any poops you make, straight down the toilet. No problems about it being clogged, okay? And then when you wanna wash your little tushy, and then the shower. That's my whole bathroom. Many a men have died in here, but we won't talk about that. What camera are you using? So here's the thing. I used to film on my phone, but then I just got fed up with the whole your phone is running out of storage business. So I had to invest in a normal camera. I'm using a Canon Vixia R800, I think. It's a camcorder and it's not a DSLR. I still don't really understand the difference between a DSLR and a camcorder. All I know is that one looks really professional and the other one is not so professional. And that's the one I'm using. <laughs> Ow! Oh my god, why did that hurt so much? Opinions on YouTube Rewind. I'm not supporting any of the decisions they made in the Rewind. I think it was bad. I don't think it had any flow to it. There wasn't a story. It was just a compilation of clips. And definitely if you look at the older Rewinds, you can tell that there is a bit of a story. But I don't think it should have garnered so much attention as it did. Okay, I just wanted to bring your attention to something. So I was just waxing my legs and for some reason the wax just came off the strip and just stuck to my leg. And now I just have this huge plaque of wax on my leg. This is just great. I have no idea how I'm gonna get this off my leg now. Oh God. No, I tried to take the wax off with a tissue paper and now the tissue paper stuck to my leg. How do you feel about your sudden explosion on YouTube? I mean, as much as I'm really grateful for it, it's kind of scary. All of a sudden I have to cater to the likes of 1.7 million people. So it's definitely been a bit of a learning curve to deal with this. I feel like now I've learned how to cope with it a lot. I'm not that scared to make a video and like talk to all of you. This is supposed to be fun. You know, it's not supposed to be a job. This isn't supposed to be stressful. I'm doing this because I love it. Do people recognize you at school? Actually, yes. I've had a couple fans come up to me. It's super sweet. If you see me in public, don't hesitate to come up to me. I'd love to talk to you, take some photos, hug it out. Favorite singer. I've grown an affinity for Lord, Her song, Buzz Cut Season, really resonates with me, if you know what I mean. I think that's the song I'm gonna overplay after I'm finished with noise pollution, so... Beans? 
<laughs> I hate beans! Thoughts on the movie It. I didn't watch it because, as you know, I'm terrified of horror movies. But I did watch the trailer and a couple scenes on YouTube. Seems pretty good. Seems pretty decent. I think the actors are really good and Bill Skarsgård is really hot. Not gonna lie, doing a pretty good job with this waxing business. My legs have never looked better. How do you manage to swim at like 6 a.m.? There's people that actually swim even earlier than I do, so kudos to you. But um, it's a lot of just getting into the habit of doing it. The first like month of doing it, it's absolute hell. I'm not gonna lie, it's not easy, but I think it's more of a question of getting into the habit of doing it than just beating yourself up because you can't do it. Opinion on pickles. I've never had pickles. What job do you wanna have when you're older? I need a really chill job. You know, a simple old research position. That would be so great. I kind of feel like school burned me out in a sense. Maybe it's just an effect of senioritis. Why are these strips so bad? Wow. How am I supposed to get back here? Favorite store to shop. I've been trying to shop at stores that are more ethical. I stopped buying stuff from like H&M and Zara. I'm buying stuff I think from Aritzia, which for the most part I think is sustainable. I'm not 100% sure. And Brandy Melville. I mean, I don't support their whole one size fits all situation. I try to limit the amount of things I buy at Brandy Melville. It's one of the only stores that fit me well, so I have to buy things from there. So something really cool, fun, and fresh happened. I ran out of wax strips. One of my legs is hairless like a baby's bottom, and the other one is just a forest. What is your favorite sleeping position? This is important. I have a very specific sleeping position. So you will require two pillows and your blanket. You begin by laying on your back. You take your blanket, and this is very crucial. Number one, wrap your feet around it. You want to cocoon yourself. You aren't coming out of here anytime soon. And then you take the edges of your blanket and you make kind of like a fort. You can't see me and I can't see you. And if uh, anyone wants to pester you throughout the night, they'll have to deal with this. It's my ultimate defense defense system against Pitbull. How long have you been painting? I've actually answered this in my previous Q&A, but I'll just answer it again. I've been painting for, I think, three years now. I took an art class just because it was a mandatory course in grade eight, and I actually really enjoyed painting. It was really therapeutic. My first paintings were bad, and then I think I got a bit better. I'm by no means the best artist on the planet. What do you do when you dab on the haters, but the haters dab back? You delete their kneecaps. Do you have AirPods? I feel like I'm the only YouTuber who doesn't have AirPods. I think I'm gonna lose them to be honest because they're like little beans that you just stick in your ear and don't know what to do with them. Why do you like hate tweets slash posts? If you're late to the party here, yes, I do like hate tweets. I mean, I think it's funny. It's probably not funny. If it hurts you, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to intimidate you or anything, you know. I should probably stop doing it. Am I going to? Probably not. What's the first thing you can remember? I actually have a photo of the first thing I remember. What? Do I have a standalone book suggestion? Yes, I do. It's by Stephen Hawking and it's called The Universe in a Nutshell. It's so good. I thought I wouldn't understand any of it, but it's actually really good. I've read the first two chapters and it just gives like a general rundown about like relativity and time and all that fun stuff. It's really good. Highly recommend it. Stephen Hawking does a really good job of like simplifying it a lot and making it really easy for me at least to understand. So, you know, if you're into space, definitely read this. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, if you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. Love you guys the most. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.